So, in the last episode, oh, right. <laughs> welcome back to Legend of Zelda: Titan Princess. In the last episode, we helped Rotella's son get to Kakariko safely. Um, in this episode, we are going to get some stuff. Before um, doing anything else? Before doing anything else. We're not going to go to the dungeon in the next episode either. No? I, f mm, I, d I don't know. I'm not too sure. Uh, well, then tell us what, what we're going to do then. Um, what we're getting... I was planning to get some stuff. First of all, there's a new item at the Melo Mart. Oh yeah. Do we have enough money? Oh crap! I hadn't thought that. I think it's a, I think it's a hundred. I think it's fifty. But don't count me on that. Hey Link, buy something. A hundred rupees. Yeah. You're right. Oh, right. The Huki. The Hawkeye. Huki. <laughs> <laughs> the Hawkeye c costs one hundred rupees, but there are but people with enough rupees, and then there's you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, basically, with this item, you can literally snipe with your snipe with your arrows. Um, but they're not really that important. Um, they're not that uh, origin. Unfortunately, we do not have much money at all because there's also another thing we need to we actually have to buy, not an optional thing. At the bomb shop. Oh yeah. We can still. Excel <laughs> our bugs. <laughs> yeah. Still give some of our bugs away. Um, hey, I've been waiting for a new. Take a peek at this. I've just finished my water bombs. These little fairies are so loud. You can use them in the water. Oh, they're gonna come in handy. Take a gander at them. Yeah. Um. We're gonna take. We. We're gonna take ten then. We can take as many as we can, but we only have one bomb bag. We've only got one bomb bag and that's got normal bombs in them so we have to sell these bombs and and then buy then, then we can buy our water bomb um we can buy 15 yeah let's buy 15 and that depletes all of our money um we'll get to hawkeye eventually but it's not really necessary not for this next dungeon at least it's not really necessary in the whole game We'll get it. We'll, we'll we will get it because white's not really a hundred percent. Hundred percent run, yeah. Uh, what now? What now? What now? We are going back to the graveyard. Um, sounds a bit weird. We're gonna go back to the little lake behind um behind the graveyard. It's because there's a little shortcut we can take. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 now I got it. Uh, I can't really remember where the shortcut takes us, but I know it's a shortcut. I know for a fact it's a shortcut. We can always try. I think I might know where it takes. Um, and also, last episode we also got the Zora armor. We'll put that on. Cause it which good. gives us the abilities of Zoras. To, to float in water. Um, no, we, need, we need a boost, don't we? Yeah. So now we're fully equipped to dive into water. We've got boots, we can, so we can walk around them. We don't drown, and also we can explodinate stuff in the water. <laughs> we look like a ninja. And we find a rupee. Oh, it's that one, maybe. Yeah, it looks more like a passage. Look on the floor. Yeah. And it even turns up on our map. Yeah. So we've got a secret passage. Which will lead us to... I'm not too sure where it leads us. I'm hoping it leads us... Lake no. Helia. This is not where I hope it will lead us, but I'm no. not mind. Uh, where you wanted to go? I I was hoping to go to Zora's Domain, because we can get stuff there. We cannot walk. But mm. we can go by foot, maybe. We can't go on foot, we can't take a boat. 
No, we, we can, I don't think we can get to the, I think we can, but it will take too long. So I think in this episode, we are finally going to start off a third dungeon. God, wow. Mm. How many? Yeah. We'll no, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Well. Oh, man. Lake Healy looks so good. Look at this. It's <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> this game looks gorgeous. I really, really. Gorgeous. Now, the dungeon is right at the bottom of the lake. And to go there, you need obviously the armor. The Zora. Zora's vest? Zora's dress? Zora's. Zora's suit. Vest. And you can see some Zoras there. And they're uh, protecting. For a second, I thought that was a bug. <laughs> That's um, hundred rupees. Yeah, I want to try and get those hundred rupees. We're a bit broke. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck that. Jean. Oh, go, 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 go then. Um. Right. Really close. Oh, whatever, man. Right. First things first. To get to this dungeon, we got to place a bomb here. In here. And then we've got to place another one. <laughs> a bomb here that will float up and eventually explode. So there we go, the entrance of the third dungeon, which is, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, or just gentlemen, because I don't think any ladies are going to watch this. We if so. It's not some girls. <laughs> uh, we had a girl subscriber. We had. We had. Yeah. But she, I don't know she was begging for subscribes herself. Yes. Yeah, so she unsubscribed. And just because we didn't subscribe to a crappy Call of Duty channel, so. Yeah. Word of advice, people: if some begs you for subscribe, don't, don't. And, and if they promise you a subscribe, they didn't go like subscribe to me and I'll subscribe to you. Don't then, don't, don't don't fall for that. It's because they're not going to give a rat's taint about your videos. They're going to subscribe, and after a two months, they're going to unsubscribe. No, it's not that. It's just that they don't watch your videos. They they won't give a rat's taint. And you don't know what is taint. What a taint is. It's sort of rat's general rectal area. Why do you want to kill these things? Uh, because I do. Okay, you lie. It's because we could find some stuff here that is useful to us. Um, I don't know where I don't. Ah, oh, go away. Um, oh, there it is. Oh, there's, a there's some useful stuffs. Bombs. Ten What's bombs. What's bombs? So in a way, we just wasted our money, didn't we? No, because to get into the dungeon, we need we need four. That's it. Jump here. We and this these levers are the staple of this dungeon. They activate mainly doors and move things. Yeah. We are at the lake bed temple, ladies and gentlemen. Um, to start off, ah oh shit. Um, t what? <laughs> to start off with, we need to blow up these stalactites so that they fall over. We have to destroy all of them. Whoa, that's treacherous. What? Don't you think you're not knock those stalactites hanging off the feeding first? That's what I was doing, you stupid. I'm just going to ignore them because they just charge at you. And they're not that useful. Just and they didn't giant rat. G giant rats, just really annoying. Um, is there a treasure chest? Yes, I'm quite certain there is. Not sure if it's anything useful though, but. Well, it's still rupees. If it's money, then I'm not complaining. Bomb. Oh, more water bombs. Well, it's 
the more bombs you have, the better it is. Yeah. You don't need more in dungeons, but you have the opportunity to get them. Are we here? No. One room. Still one room. This is um, one of the main rooms. Because from here you can see there's loads of different. We can say this. Room, different ways to get around the temple. This is a very backtracky temple. Um, this is a new enemy. It's just as useless as Moblins. Maybe not as useless. Uh, we can see this dungeon is like a very, very nice looking underwater cave. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, this room is humongous and there's loads of stuff you might you'll want to get. Like rupees. Like poopies. No rupees. Yupies. Yup de doop. And um, this stair. These stairs, there's loads ah. of keys, there's loads of rooms. It's it's just This stair has a special feature. Yeah, this this room is absolute pandemonium. Um Arrows. Uh, arrows, we needed arrows. And the other side. Always check everything. Because yeah. This room might look all the same. We've got blue tech types, we've got more HP. Um, What's on that side? Uh, we're not going to check these rooms yet, it's because. Oh, oh you cheeky. Right. And there's another treasure chest, very small. Um, more, more arrows. arrows. Okay, we got full of ammunition. We're full of ammo. Um, let's check one of these doors first. Let's see what we can find. Um, nothing. The path is blocked. Path is blocked. So let's GTFO and see what else we can do. We can try to move the stair. Uh, thanks, uh, Fabio. Stop <laughs> saying what we're trying, what we're doing before we're, we've actually done them. So as I said, the lever is a staple to this dungeon because it does stuff like move the stairs around. Um, people find this dungeon really complicated and hard, but it's only complicated because you're never really sure where you're going. But otherwise, the dungeon is pretty simple. I don't think the dungeons are too difficult either in this game. And here's Uku so he can teleportate. And this is useful. Phew, free at last. This. Um, we'll finally be. This is going to be the first time we ever use Uku in this dungeon. We're going to use her somewhere near the end. There's a quick way of doing this dungeon with. Um, right, this is a locked door. We can't do anything here. There's no lever on this side either. What about there? Turn at a time, every single freaking time. Just goes. a flag and then attack. When she jumps. There's another um, door. There's another door and another lever. Um, there's no treasure chests. Let's see what's through this door first, shall we? Yeah, okay. And it's blocked, just like the last one. So now you're going to start thinking, where the hell should I go? <laughs> and if you don't know where to go, just go forward. <laughs> Right. Now I think we're able to ask to get a treasure chest we saw. Not there. Not maybe the other side. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Oh, there you go, yeah. And right here we've got. I'm sure you can guess. Oh, yeah, dungeon map. the dungeon map. And in dungeons like this, when you have to do back and forward many yeah, times, it's quite it, useful. It's quite useful. We can go that way. We can go this way, so it's the only path we can really go to. So let's go over go there. for it. And as you can see, it's getting complicated by the second. Um, I'll suggest you destroy that thing hanging. 
first we go down. Now remember, look up, look up. Right. There's a thing to destroy. Right. That one. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. See? Oh. oh. Hmm. You did. No, we'll right. stand it here. We'll stay. Um. We need to find ways to get around. Here's another stalactite. This time the stalactite is useful to get this little treasure chest. Which, which contains a, a key. key. Which means now we're again backtracking. Uh, which now, you know, if you remember there was a locked door earlier. Fuck you, Texite. Ha ha. You can't get me. You can't get me. Try and catch me! Um, no, wait. On the yeah, left. we've got to go back. Oopla. Now, Matteo said this is easy, but it's still going to take a long time. To it's going to take a long time. It's a very long dungeon. It's very drawn out. It's very cleverly thought of as well. Um, but... Um, now I think once we get back to the main room, we have to go up again. I think when yeah, where the door yeah. was closed. Once we get back to the main room, I think it'll be a very nice little place to stop. So um, in the next episode, we'll try and find more stuff in this dungeon, Lake Bed Temple. Goodbye. Goodbye. See, we'll see you then.